Well, we've we've learned quite a bit, Stan, about these uh, gyrocopters or gyroplanes, as the FAA calls them, here at Auto Gyro USA on the eastern shore at the Bay Bridge Airport. Uh, they have a number of these different type of aircraft. This one a little different than the one we showed you at five o'clock. The one we showed you at five o'clock is down there, actually has a window around it. This one right here uh, is open, so you're pretty much out there, much like that gyrocopter we saw at the Capitol yesterday. There is a huge difference, though, when comparing uh, these aircraft and that one yesterday. Is considered very unsafe, mainly because you don't need a license to fly it. Out of Bay Bridge Airport, the phone has been ringing off the hook at Auto Gyro USA after 61 year old Doug Hughes landed a self made gyrocopter on the Capitol lawn Wednesday. It was built in someone's garage. It weighs less than 254 pounds, travels less than 55 knots, and carries less than five gallons of fuel. So it is very much a home built aircraft. Which we would say is far different than what we're uh, we're selling and using here. Tim Adelman, co-owner of Auto Gyro and an aviation expert, says that the aircraft was known as a Geronimo, an ultralight aircraft, which does not require a license to fly. They are also far different than the gyro planes that Adelman sells. His aircraft are licensed by the FAA and have transponders which communicate with radar beacons. Hughes's gyrocopter had nothing, which answers the question as to how he so easily sailed through restricted airspace. The FAA does not allow that type of aircraft to fly over populated areas because they're not tested. They don't meet any airworthiness standard. So the concern is if something goes wrong, where are they going to land? You can pretty much buy all the parts at your local Home Depot and put it together. Jason Levin, the other owner of Auto Gyro, says gyro planes ironically are being used more and more by law enforcement because of their smooth and safe ride. What's interesting is the aircraft themselves are actually powered by a 100 horsepower engine in the back with only wind powering the blade on the top. Once the, the uh, power starts, there's a pre-rotation power that gets to the blade, so there's no power actually getting to the rotor blade. Uh, that'll get it up to about 200 RPM, and once forward motion is going, it's the relative wind that's taking over to keep the blade spinning. The aviation experts say it's actually surprising that we don't see more incidents like we saw yesterday involving homemade aircraft, considering you don't need much training to fly them. If you'd like more information on gyrocopters and gyroplanes like the one behind me there, we've got some links on our website, WBALTV.com. We're live at the Bay Bridge Airport tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.